Namaste children. In yesterday's class, we have learned about the elements of a letter. What is a letter? How many parts are there in a letter? And how we can distinguish between each part? What are there in each part? Those all the things we have discussed in our earlier class. Today, you are going to plan your own letter. Okay. Now, actually, if you were in the class, I would have given you small strips of parts of a letter and I would have made you to paste on one chart by sticking on the wall so that you can get the complete letter. But now, since it is not possible, I'll be showing you each strip on my screen. You have to see that screen. You have to see the screen. You have to observe what it is which part of the letter it is. Then you have to put it in order. Okay. Now, before I say that, once again, I'll be telling you what is the, how many parts are there in the letter, which part contains what, why it is important. There are five parts. I told you, you know, yesterday there are five parts, like five fingers, there are five parts in the letter. First one is the heading. Second one is the Salutation. Third one is the body of the letter. Fourth one is the closing. And fifth one is the signature. So what is this heading? Heading contains the address of the writer or whoever is sending the letter, whoever is writing the letter. In that again, we are having four parts. First, the house number will be there or the door number will be there. Then the street name then to which city it belongs and the date. In the day, first month will come, then date will come, then year will come. That is the heading part. Then comes salutation. Salutation always begins with the capital letter. It is with dear, if I am writing to you, dear students. Then I will put one comma. You should end it with the comma. And whenever you are writing the letters, all should come in the straight line. Now, when I am explaining you the letter, I will show you. All should come in the straight line. And next comes the body of the letter. When you are the introductory part, how to start the body of the letter? First, you should start with, how are you? How are you doing? Hope you are fine. I am doing well. Then next comes the explanation part. Each body of the letter contains three parts, three paragraphs, sorry. In the first lines, that means in the first paragraph, you should ask about the well-wishing, about how you are, about the wishes you have to, just about what, how they are feeling, what they are doing, just a regular talk you should ask about in the first paragraph. In the second middle paragraph, you have to ask about not ask, you have to describe about whether it may be the place, maybe the celebration or whatever it is, you have to describe in that. And third part is you have to conclude it. Hope you are doing well. I will be returning back and I, I will be, hope you will be writing the letter. I will be, I am waiting for your reply. Like that you have to end it. Then comes the Closing. Closing is, it starts with yours lovingly. And after yours lovingly, you should put the comma. Then you should write your name. This is the format of the letter. So now what you are going to do? I am going to show you some strips. Some strips I am going to show. And those strips are all jumbled. They are all jumbled. What you should do in our S2, they have given an empty sheet for planning a letter. Okay, for planning a letter. These all jumbled pieces of letters, you have to keep them in order to make the complete meaningful letter. Okay, so before I do, in the, in the earlier class, we were relating, we were visualizing and visualizing the things using the sensory details. So even this letter also, we are going to visualize, we are going to connect it to the sensory details. 
before i do that i will read a small paragraph to you and how they are connected to our sensory organs you should tell me now i am going to read listen all of you yes i saw people wearing colorful shiny clothes lamps in houses and fireworks in the sky i heard the sound of loud crackers bursting rockets squealing into the air and people laughing i smelled the odor of gunpowder and smoke from the crackers i tasted delicious food like different kinds of rice with curries and sweets i felt very happy excited and a little worried when i burst crackers with my friends and family the details about the five sense organs are written in the middle of middle paragraph of the body of the letter that's what i was telling in the middle paragraph we will be having the description of maybe it may be the any celebration or it may be your experience or it may be your feelings anything it is explained in the middle paragraph now if i connect it to it to our sensory details now i am going to share my screen yes now now if you see here now if you see here you can see the five senses chart here just now i was telling you about one small incident which was happened generalized incident that you are going to relate it here what are the things the child has seen she has seen the people and the shiny clothes and what did she hear she heard about the loud bombs and how she was feeling when she was when she was burning the cracker she was worried and what was she smelling she was smelling the gunpowder smelling the gunpowder smell when the crackers burst will get some smoke out of that smoke some smell will come that gunpowder smell and what was the taste of the curries and the food she was relishing it was delicious so this is what we are connecting this little paragraph to our five senses why it is important to connect to the five senses even the letter because when we include this all five senses to our letter it gives the complete structure to the letter when the the when the reader when he is reading it creates some interest some anxiety for them to read it more and more and when we again if when when we read it after after many years in the future if we read we feel so happy that oh, oh these were the things we saw might be the world is changing day to day so this may become a historical memory for you so now i am going to show you some pieces of paper, strips of letters so what you are going to do as soon as you see the letter strips you make a note of them and then each strip you make a note of them okay when you are watching the video you take one of book each bit whatever i am showing you have to make a note of them afterwards you have to number them in order okay nana no first one what is this given number 405 second main ninth cross this is the first one now next one i will show you this is cunningham road this is the street next is this is the name of the city and name of the city always it has the pin code number next comes the dear sitara for what we will use this dear sitara for the very good we use it for the salutation this all whatever i am showing whatever you are watching in the video you step wise you write down in one rough book and then you can put it in the letter format next is lata next is yours lovingly so yours lovingly also always you should begin with the capital letter and you should put the comma and one more very very important thing you should always keep in your mind exclusively for the letter c is for you yours you won't put any apostrophe here okay next 
लता डियर सितारा ओवर बैंगलोर ओवर कनिंग हम ओवर नेक्स्ट आई विल शो यू Yes, that's all. Now, these are the strips of letter which has the heading it is having, closing it is having, signature it is having, and the salutation also it is having. Now, I am going to show you the body of the letter. Okay, ma'am. Body of the letter I am going to show you. Now, here if you see. Now here, if you see here, I have shown you the body of the letter. Can you see the body of the letter here, ma? Can you see the body of the letter here? It is divided into three parts. One second. Ah, here I'll keep my photo. Yes. Now here, there I have given the heading, salutation, and. Uh, closing and signature here this is the body of the letter i did not made it into pieces actually this also should be made into pieces but i did not make for your convenience so here if you see what is the body of the letter given first always you should ask about the well wishes how are you doing i wanted to write to you earlier but couldn't because i was busy moving cities i wanted to tell you about my recent train journey to Matheran. Okay. So what is it here? She is now she is first she is giving the introduction where she has gone and how she is going to explain her experience now. How she is explaining. I went with a couple. Couple means two, two of my school friends to the hill station in Maharashtra. It was beautiful. We took a train and went up the scenic hills. We saw the mist rising up and the clouds sitting atop the hills. Amidst this, we heard a cuckoo of the train and the, you can say, chuk, 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 we will say in train, how the sound makes, of the train and the whistling sounds the engine made. After a while, it was lunchtime. The train compartment was filled with all kinds of smells. We mostly got the smell of pickle with chapati. My friend Radha had made some chocolate cake for dessert. She gave us some and I asked her to make some more later. The taste of the sticky chocolate on our tongue made us happy and all the sugar that we ate got excited. Later, we were feeling tired because it was already six hours into the journey. But... We were relieved when finally arrived. Now this is the description part. In the middle we will describe. Now here what you are going to do. How we are going to connect with the sensory details. Because it gives pleasure to the reader. It gives the stepwise. It comes in the sequential order the letter will be. The reader will enjoy the letter. And at the end, how you should conclude it? Waiting to hear all about you, your travel to Goa. This are the, these are the three paragraphs about the body of the letter. Now, here, here is our worksheet now. Here is our worksheet. So here what, what I have shown you, I have explained you the description how it was. Now what we are going to do, we are planning and writing a letter. How you are going to plan the letter, you have to use the contents, whatever I have given there. Just now I have shown you that is for practice, you have to make it in the stepwise order. In the same order, here also you have to write a letter on the topic, my Diwali celebrations using details from five senses. From five senses, you are going to relate it to the, describe about the Diwali celebration. This you have to, here you should write down the heading and here you should write down the salutation. Here, introductory lines of the letter. And here middle part, you should write down the 
complete description of your place or celebration then you should write down the closing line here the third paragraph you should write down then you should write down your closing and then your name this is how you have to do now if i go back this you have to write on your own using those two practice letters now if we go back here if you see how what did the how are you doing i wanted to this is the introductory letter so i went with a couple with my couple of my friends to the hill station maharashtra it was beautiful we took a train and went up the scenic hills we saw the mist what did she saw sorry what did she see in the hill station how it is connected it is connected that she saw the mist rising up and the clouds sitting atop the hills and what did she hear she heard about the train song choo 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 she heard and the whistling sounds of the engine and what did she smell what did she smell the train smell different kinds of smells that they got the smell of pickle and the chapati and what did she taste she tasted the chocolate cake and what did she feel how did she feel she was feeling very tired this is how you have to relate the letter with our with the five senses so how you are going to write down first the main parts of the letter you write down the date and main parts of the letter you complete it then you go for the description part how you are how celebrated first you come with the <clears throat> what are the things you see you write one line what are the things you hear one line what what smell you will get you write just now i have read one story for you for the diwali celebration isn't it the same you can take it and you can write down okay now once again i am reading for you for your convenience see i saw people wearing colorful shiny clothes lamps in houses and fireworks in the sky i heard the sounds of loud crackers bursting rockets squealing into the air and people laughing i smelled the odor of gunpowder and smoke from the crackers i tasted delicious food like different kinds of rice with curries and sweets i felt happy excited and a little worried when i burst crackers with my friends and family the details about five senses are written in the middle of the body of the letter so here what you have to do whatever i have read from there you have to write connect it with the five senses and complete your letter then you should write down the closing and your signature write your name this is how you have to complete your letter now if we go to the s3 s3 is also very simple and it is very simple s3 also here now just now we have gone through many letters right we have seen many letters now review we reviewing a letter what you are going to do here a letter is given but it is not in correct format if you see well, ah, now it is clear now if you see this letter all the parts are not in correct order okay some things are missing what are missing you have to correct this letter whether if it is correct if should put tick mark here down if it is wrong you have to put no that's all okay that's how you have to complete and one more important thing always you should remember while you are writing the letter all the words should be in the straight line from the top to the bottom straight line they should be and after the dear salutation after you should put the comma after closing you should put the comma after first paragraph in the letter body of the letter you should put full stop middle paragraphs you should put end with the full stop then next waiting to hear from you you have to put full stop and then for closing you have to put comma okay and why this is address is necessary for a letter heading is necessary because without the heading how do you know from where that letter has got 
okay <clears throat> and why we should write the salutation that gives that gives the affection that to whom we are writing that tells us to whom we are writing and why the body of the letter we should write down we should write the body of the letter to give the complete information about what we are going to explain them and next is closing how you are closing that means that the letter is completed the letter is it shows that the letter is completed and at the end you have to write your name that shows the letter is completed that gives a complete information about the letter so once again i am telling you what are the parts of the letter yes the parts of the letter are heading salutation body of the letter closing and signature understood nana all of you Hope you have understood. Watch the video slowly. Thank you. Have a good day, ma.